Hey, what's up guys? Kyle here and I've got a quick tutorial for you. I've been asked a ton about roof penetrations with metal roofing and what do you do? So what we've got is a vent stack coming up. The plumber just cut this through, asked us to go ahead and, and detail the flashing. He picked up a boot. So this is just an OD master flash. What you'll notice is there's a, a malleable edge and this is kind of a solid metal that is like welded into the boot. So it's not gonna leak on you. And what we've done is we cut the circle out for this size boot. You'll notice if you look here on the boot, they've got a bunch of different dimensions. So this is the pipe size that we needed. And you can see it doesn't fit over it easily. It's actually a little bit um, too small, but that's so the rubber will flex around the outside. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is I've got some tacky uh, butyl tape. This is double beaded butyl. And man, it's super good stuff for this instance or what you can do is use a good high quality uh, sealant. This is an acrylic sealant, good stuff. And we're gonna wanna get a bead of sealant here. Or in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and use this butyl tape. Um, I think it's a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead And I'm gonna run butyl around this whole thing. What I like about the butyl tape is that with the compression of the fasteners that we're gonna use, um, it does a really good job sealing and it doesn't dry up potentially uh, like caulk will. It will hold its uh, seal. All right, so here you can see we've got this butyl and it's all the way around. We've got a little bit of an overlap. And the important thing that I was always taught, and maybe you don't have to do this, but instead of putting the boot on square, uh, like you might think, go ahead and put it in on a diamond. And the reason that is, and you probably have already guessed this, is that the diamond gives the water a place coming down the roof to hit and go down the side versus if it's square, water might set here and work its way in over time. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get this set down on a nice diamond, and I'm just gonna kinda work this in, that uh, butyl tape, get it laying nice and flat. And I got my, uh, my uh, magnetic cougar paws, you can see, look at that, sticking to the metal, pulling it right up off the surface. Now we don't need this caulk right now. And I've got some, uh, these are regular metal screw fasteners in the wood. They've got a nice neoprene washer. So you're gonna get 30 years out of that washer. I'm just gonna grab a couple here. Now, what you have to do, and it says right here on the instructions, your fastener distance should not exceed inch and a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna screw right through the center of this band You can see the butyl uh, squeezing out. That's good, that's compression. So you don't wanna um, jump around. You wanna work your way around this boot. And just kinda keep getting it to compress that butyl. And it says they can't exceed inch and a half, but it's not gonna hurt if you're a little closer than inch and a half. So I'm just gonna go around and I'm gonna put one of these fasteners about every inch, inch and a half. Dream. It looks pretty sexy, isn't it? Not bad for a boot. 
it really pains me to put any holes in this roof when we detailed it so like you know meticulous for no fasteners i'm curious if uh you guys got a better way of doing a, a boot like this on metal uh, on hard flash or something i'd love to see it i don't get into architectural standing seam uh, this is about as you know detailed as it gets for us typically but I'm always up for learning if there's a new method that will be, you know, 100% leak proof. Okay. Okay, I like seeing the mastic squeezing out because the compression is what's good. And then what I like to do... is I'm gonna take my sealant, and even though I probably don't have to do this, uh, just as a little add, I'm gonna go ahead and still run it right along this edge. Now I'm not gonna run it on the bottom, I'm just gonna run it across this top diamond. It's kind of like the belt and suspender approach, so, um, if the belts doesn't work, maybe the suspenders are gonna work. And then I'm gonna do the same thing up top. I don't trust these boots. The sealant is very flexible, so it's not gonna dry and crack on us. It will move with the temperature a little bit. We're just gonna get a nice bead, spend money on a good sealant. It's important. And there you go. So that is how you flash a vent pipe, um, get a good high quality boot, high quality sealants, and uh, do your best, then you caulk the rest.